Note, raw Fida means, Iranian Shia. A Maju C sect, which claims to embody Islam, yet it has Jewish roots, and, especially after the Safavids, significant, pre-Islamic Iranian influence. The following pagan practices amongst the raw Fida, are just glimpses of the Persian influence, on Shiaism. Amongst them is the Nowruz festival, which is an essential part of the raw Fida Shia sect, and has its roots in the Mashrik, pagan cult of the Majus. It may sound like a war zone, but it's the kickoff to New Year's in Iran. Chasham Besuri is a night of fireworks. And not for the faint of heart, fire jumping to symbolize a fresh start. It's time with family before the last minute shopping. As street side songs welcome a change in season, folks buy up gifts and all the necessary ornaments. Nowruz is the busiest and perhaps most cherished holiday in Iran, rooted in its Zoroastrian past. Rooted in its Zoroastrian past. Yet one may say, well what the people in Iran do, does not represent Shiaism. While this is true, yet the dilemma for the raw Fida is, that their top authorities amongst their scholars approve and celebrate and even congratulate to the pagan Majjusi holiday themselves. Ruze Ide no Ruze Milli Irani. Be Hazrat Bariyatullah Arwahuna Fada. Salam Arzum Konam. Ve Ayyad Mubarakra. Be Ishun Tabrik Miguyam. و همچنین به عموم ملت ایران و به عموم مسلمانان و به همه محبان و عاشقان اهل بیت پیغمبر تبریک عرض می کنم به همه ایرانیان به همه کسانی که نوروز رو می شناسند و اون رو جشن می گیرند و به همه بشریت تبریک و تهنیت عرض می کنم نوروز از پدیده ها و التاف ویژه الهی است نوروز از پدیده ها و التاف ویژه الهی است As you can see the majus that is those who infiltrated Shiaism with non-Islamic Persian elements have even managed to connect their Nowruz Majusi holiday to Islam the prophets and even to Allah the Almighty himself they call it a divine holiday, even though the Prophet, peace be upon him, and his pure family, never ever claimed such a thing, let alone celebrated this holiday of Mashrik fire worshippers. As a matter of fact the Prophet said, whoever imitates a people is one of them. Narrated by Abu Dawud. This is a serious warning. Abu Lal ibn Allah said, whoever lives in the land of the Mashrikeen and celebrates their no ruse, do year, and their marajan, festivals and imitates them until he dies he will be a loser on the day of resurrection in fact there are many such narrations even from the al al bayt themselves yet the raw fida that is the majus who seek to destroy islam from within under the pretext of following the al al bayt have ascribed the complete opposite to the prophet and his family they made the Prophet and his family praise the pagan Zoroastrian rooted holiday of no ruse. Bahse in Janse Mo Rajebe Aide no ruse Yo ne ruse me bosham. In a mutalek be irani homi bosham kasole that eptedoy ruse avale mo hishamsi. ایرانی ها این روز را عید می گیرند خیلی از دوستان سوالی کردند که بدانند آیا این روز عید نوروز دلیل روایی دارد یا خیر ما الله ابن خلیف آمد نزد امام صادق علیه السلام امام صادق علیه السلام فرمود یا ما الله 
میدانی امروز چه روزی است ما الله فرمود نه یا ابن رسول الله نمیدانم امام صادق علیه السلام فرمود امروز روزی است که برابر شد با به اسد حضرت رسول صلی الله علیه و آله و سلم یعنی امروز روز عید نوروز می باشد که برابر شد با به عزت حضرت رسول صلی الله علیه و آله و سلم و همچنین روز نزول آیه انی اکملت لکم دین و کم و همچنین روز جانشینی حضرت علی علیه السلام در یوم القدیر می باشد محلا فرمود یا ابن رسول الله آیا چیزی دیگر هم در این روز اتفاق افتاده است امام صادق علیه السلام فرمود بله یا معلا امروز روزی است که خداوند متعال در عالم زر از بندهاش بلا گرفت یعنی سوالی کرد الستو بربکم قالو بلا یعنی روز الست در این روز اعمالی دارد که در مفاتیح الجنان آشق عباس قومی رحمت الله علیه ذکر کردن اعمال این روز عید را از جمله قسل روز عید نوروز می باشد و همچنین دعای عید نوروز و همچنین زیارت امیر المؤمنین علی ابن ابی طالب در نجف اشرف و همچنین نماز عید نوروز می باشد Nowruz was the beginning of the Persian New Year, and considered the holiest day in the Zoroastrian calendar, yet the Rafi Da, the crypto Majus have shamelessly ascribed it to Islam. Here's an overview of Islamic events, that the Rafi Da magicians, also known as so-called Aryatu Laz, ascribe to their pagan holiday. As to whether this is right or wrong, or like some try to undermine it, by calling it a tradition, then let me ask you, if Muslims in the West started, or kept on celebrating pagan holidays like Halloween or Christmas, hanging decorations, stocking, lights and a Christmas tree, etc. what would be your view on that? Also Islam is not prejudiced towards Persians. How could it be prejudiced anyway, while the very spirit of Islam is to unite mankind under the uncorrupted, pure monotheism? Anyway, if anyone dares to claim that Islam is prejudiced towards Persians, for it opposes the pre-Islamic Persian Nowruz holiday, then one must know that the Prophet, peace be upon him, also prohibited many customs of his own people, the Arabs. If he was prejudiced and pro-Arab, then why did he prohibit many customs of the Arabs? The answer is as simple, the Arab holidays were as pagan as the Persian ones. It is true, he peace be upon him, approve some of the customs of the Arabs, like the two waf around the Kaaba, the name of the one god Allah, which was also used by the pagan Arabs, yet some ignoramuses amongst the Majus, falsely convinced themselves that the messenger of Allah Muhammad, just copied these pagan elements into Islam. Of course this is not true and only proves the prejudices and ignorance of the enemies of Islam. Since not every practice that was present amongst the pagan Arabs in the time of the Prophet, peace be upon him, was of pagan origin, rather some were pure, Ibrahimic, that is monotheistic origin, though distorted, one could say those practices were the leftovers of the original, monotheistic practices of the father of the Arabs, Ibrahim, peace be upon him, hence the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, approve some of the practices of the Arabs. But again, Islam was and is not prejudiced towards any race. In fact the Prophet, peace be upon him, opposed his very own people, the Arabs, at the very beginning of his mission. He condemned them and many of their practices, not just those of the Jews, Christians, 
and the Majus. Here is one example where the Prophet, peace be upon him, also prohibited the pagan Arab holiday. As one can see, Islam is not prejudice at all. Yes, there were some dynasties, in fact monarchies of the Bani Umayyas who oppressed Persians, yet first of all, their deeds do not represent Islam, since Allah the Almighty in his noble book, and the Prophet, peace be upon him, and his pure son made it clear that there is no difference between an Arab and a non-Arab. Also one must not forget that those oppressive dynasties did not oppress Persians only, but also the descendants of the Prophet and, what the layman amongst the raw feed are not aware of, also the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Also, as a matter of fact, a great portion of Islamic knowledge was passionately carried by great Persian Sunni scholars. In fact Iran was until the 16th century a majority Sunni country that is it is a majority Shia country only for the last 500 years of its Islamic history. That is why one can find that most major Persian poets were Sunni Persians. And also the major scholars of Sunni Islam were of Persian origin. And now back to non-Muslim Iranians, the Rafida Shia, the Majus who infiltrated Islam with all sorts of paganism and superstitions under the pretext of loving and following the family of the Prophet peace be upon him. The enemies of Islam, including the Rafida claim that Zoroastrianism is in fact, a monotheistic faith. There is one truth in what they claim, but only one, that is, whilst it is true that Zoroastrianism probably used to be monotheistic, since Allah, the All-Wise, sent a messenger to every nation yet there is no doubt that the original message was distorted just like that of the christians who also claim to be upon monotheism yet are the clearest polytheist on earth today zoroastrianism also deviated from the uncorrupted monotheism and started to exalt fire more and more until they started to pray directly to the creation that is fire similar as to what the rafida do who pray directly to their imams yet just like all other polytheists, claim that they seek intercession only, even though they ask their imams directly in their supplications, which in and itself is worship, and since worship belongs to Allah alone, supplication, which is the essence of worship, must be directed to Allah alone, yet both of them, the Rafida and the Zoroastrians, direct their worship, that is supplication, to other than Allah under the pretext of intercession, and thus both of them, are guilty of polytheism, even if they claim otherwise. On Char Shambhe Suri, Iranians burn heaps of brush over which young and old jump and sing a refrain. Iranians have Santa Claus also, but Iran's Santa Claus has traditionally been portrayed by young men in blackface called Haji Firuz, who sings and brings joy and happiness to all people. As with many traditions, Nowruz has its roots in ancient Iranian religion called Zartush. Indeed, it has its roots in ancient Iranian religion, yet the Rafida scholars ascribe it to Islam. Anyway, one must know that these pagans jump through fire, on no ruse to cleanse the negative energy of the previous year into the fire and draw the fire's sacred energy into the new year, as they claim. While jumping over fire one has to say, Zardi ye man as to, Sorki ye to as man. The literal translation is, my sickly yellow paleness is yours. Your fiery red color is mine. This is a purification rite. You want the fire to take your paleness, sickness, and problems and in turn give you redness, warmth, and energy. As one can see, they literally ask the fire for their needs, yet still claim to be monotheistic. This reminds one of the Rafida, who didn't only adopt the Zoroastrian pagan holiday of no ruse, but also the polytheism of the Zoroastrians. Shut up. <laughs> 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 
You've just seen the essence of polytheism. One has not to call the fire god to make it a god. According to pure monotheism, which is truly manifested in Islam only, giving the creation the attributes of God is polytheism in and in itself. They literally ask the fire to give them energy, just like the Christians who ask their saints, and the raw Fidashites who ask their saints that is Imams. They all worship that is pray to other than Allah, yet they claiming to be upon monotheism. However, the misguidance of these stubborn people who have taken pagan culture and nationalism over common sense is so clear as daylight, thus this is amongst the produce of pagan no ruse. Whilst it is true that some raw Fida scholars criticize some of the elements of pagan no ruse, such as the fire jumping, yet at the same time they encourage their own brainless followers to walk over fire and coal on Ashura. Yet again, the Maju see raw Fidis have invented a new superstition, rooted in Zoroastrianism as usual, into their so called Islam of al al bayt. <laughs> ما هم بأمة من على الأفلاك قد ركز اللواء من حطم الأصنام من أرسل عدالة والإخاء من أسمع الدنيا حداء المجد فاشتعلت حداء من قاد قافلة السلام وفجر الصحراء ماء واستمطر التاريخ فانهمرت سحائبه ثراء وغز الظلام وجاء بالحق المنور حين جاء لم يفقه بدرا ولا أمت ركائبهم حراء وغز الظلام وجاء بالحق المنور حين جاء لم يفقه بدرا ولا أمت ركائبهم حراء لم يقرأوا سعدا وسيف الله ما فهموا البراء شيع وأحزاب تضل فلا اتلاء Hold on. Maybe these devilish polytheist lunatics, the brainless sheeps, the followers of Shiaism, are not in line with the Shia sect itself. So what do the biggest Shia scholars, the Majusi Mafia, also known as Ayatollahs, have to say about this practice? Okay, Bismillah, let us try Fatwa, Shia, Ashura, and, oh yeah, of course firewalking. Wada 
these two rabbi-looking men, are among the top Shia scholars of this age. The late Muhammad Shirazi and Sadek Shirazi. Praise be to Allah. They've got a whole category explaining how to mutilate oneself on all Shura. Disgusting. <laughs> They're satanic looking scholars, and the bloody appearance of the website speaks for itself, but let's look if Shia scholars approve firewalking. This is Ayatollah Sees Tani, the current leader, of one of the biggest Shia learning centers in the world, in Iraq. Question, what is the ruling regarding the lashing with chains, chest beating, and walking on fire on the occasion of mourning the martyrdom of Imam Hussein peace be upon him? Answer, if, these are, not associated with extreme harm or loss of limb, there is no objection. Subhanallah, wow, wow. What a fatwa, what a wisdom. If his majusi visage wouldn't be visible, one could also easily believe that this verdict, is from Satan himself. According to this devil seized honey, who is hiding behind the cloak and turban of the Messenger of Allah, it is allowed. The only limit he sets, is extreme harm, which is the loss of limbs. I repeat, loss of limbs. Oh, you are not very keen on English websites? You prefer the Arabic original? Okay, let's do that, so Allah will. Okay, as usual there must be something, one only has to put fire, Shia, and Abshura, mourning. Lowell's, as usual there is always connection between fire and Shiaism. Note, we've just been on one of the biggest Shia websites in English language. Now this is the answer Hussein website, one of the biggest Shia website in the world, full of resources, fatwas, etc. in Arabic language. Let us search for the word fire again, in Arabic language. Question, what is the ruling regarding the lashing with chains? chest beating, and walking on fire on the occasion of mourning the martyrdom of Imam Hussein peace be upon him? <laughs> this time, sees Tani is clearer than ever before. He answers, Allah says, and whosoever honors the symbols of Allah, then it is truly from the piety of the hearts. There we go. He considers fire walking as one of the symbols of Allah. When, will you wake up, O Shia, and free yourselves, from these charlatans, who play with your intellect and emotions, in the name of following Allah bait, these Maju see scholars and this, heretical Shiite sect, is not the school of the family of the Prophet, peace be upon him, these heretical, Ayatollahs are indeed Majus, who seek to destroy Islam from within, by preventing everything which is in accordance with monotheism that is Islam, like calling on Allah alone. Yet they permit and encourage every, every sort of polytheism and superstition, like gravurship, that is praying directly to others besides Allah, and firewalking. Can't you see how deviant and satanic these turban-wearing devils are? <laughs>
يوم يخرجون من الأجداث سراعا كأنهم إلى نصب يوفضون خاشعة أبصارهم ترهقهم ذلة ذلك اليوم الذي كانوا يوعدون Jumping over a fire? Nothing to do with Zoroastrianism you think? It is so obvious that the Rafida are influenced by the Majus. They have even copied the heresy of pagan fire jumping from them and introduced it into their heretical Ashura ceremonies. And on top of it, they ascribe it to Islam and the family of the Prophet the Al Al Bayt. No doubt, Islam, the Prophet and Al Al Bayt are innocent of the Rafida cult. As we can see, this is how the Majus, the Rafida Shia, particularly the charlatan clergy, also known as Ayatollahs, play with the minds and emotions of naive people among their own followers and Muslims. They are exactly like those evangelists, who play with the emotions of their followers, inventing all sorts of paganism in the name of loving Jesus, or like in the case of the Rafida, loving the family of the Prophet, al al -Bayt. Note. This was just a glimpse from the pre-Islamic Iranian influence on today's Shiaism. There are many other Iranian-influenced aspects in Rafida Shiaism, like Yes, this was Iran, the so-called Islamic State. It celebrates Abu Lolo the Majusi, the Zoroastrian murderer of Omar bin al khattab may Allah be pleased with him. A Zoroastrian low-life, who committed suicide, after he stabbed Omar al Farouk during his prayer, in the Prophet's mosque. This Zoroastrian Majusi is a hero, in the Iranian cult of Rafida Shiarism, and the companion of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Omar, is a infidel according to this Persian sect, which claims to embody Islam. Dakhala Omar, and the Salat al-Fajr, 
بدا يوقظ الناس النائمين ينبه القائمين وينادي في الناس الصلاه الصلاه حتى اذا اقيمت الصلاه تقدم عمر في المحراب ليصلي بالناس عمر كبر في المحراب الله اكبر ثم بدا يصلي الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين كاد ذاك المجوسي ان يخرج عليه لكنه اراد ان يؤخر الخروج اليه حتى يقوم عمر الى الركعه الثانيه فيكون اكثر الناس قد قدم الى الصلاه واصطفوا في الصفوف فلما اتم عمر الركعه الاولى قام رضي الله عنه الى الركعه الثانيه وكبر الله اكبر وبدا يقرا بالناس مالك يوم الدين اياك نعبد واياك نستعين في لمحه عين خرج عليه ذلك المجوسي وطعنه ثلاث طعنات وقعت الاولى في صدره والثانيه في جنبه والثالثه تحت سرته وجر الخنجر فلما جر الخنجر فتح ما تحت السره حتى خرجت بعض امعائه من قوه الطعن وصاح عمر باعلى صوته ووقع على الارض صريعا أما ذلك المجوسي فإنه لما قتل عمر انطلق يشق الصفوف ليهرب ويطعن الناس يمنة ويسرة حتى طعن ثلاثة عشر صحابيا مات منهم سبعة في الحال قدروا عليه طعن نفسه ومات تفت إليهم ثم قال من قتلني قالوا قتلك الغلام المجوسي قال غلام المغيرة بن شعبة قال نعم قال الحمد لله الذي لم يجعل موتي على يد رجل عربي لا العروبة والعجمة ليست مقياسا عند عمر الحمد لله الذي لم يجعل موت على يد رجل غني الحمد لله الذي قتلني فقير لا أيضا الفقر والغنى ليس مقياسا عند عمر الحمد لله الذي جعلني رجل مملوك ليس حرا أيضا الحرية والعبودية ليس مقياسا عند عمر إنما قال عمر الحمد لله أن الذي قتلني لم يسجد بسجدة واحدة لله يحاجني بها عند الله تعالى. Yet one can see the raw fida, elevating a Zoroastrian, coward suicide, yet at the same time slandering and cursing a close companion of the Prophet, peace be upon him. This is the pre-Islamic, Majusi, Persian grudge, that continues to flourish within raw fida Shiarism. They've covered their nationalism. Arab hatred and racism in the cloak of following the family of the Prophet, yet they, the raw fida, are fairer away from Islam than Hindus could ever be. Also, it is clear now, that cursing the companions of the Prophet, and elevating a Zoroastrian Majusi suicide, is not just done by some of their so-called extremist scholars, as some try to portray. <laughs> وجرى ذلك على يد موالي شجاع البطل الذي لعلم فيروز رضوان الله تعالى عليه الصحابة لم يأتمروا بأمر رسول الله فلم يقتلوا عمر المهاجرون لم يأتمروا بأمر رسول الله فلم يقتلوا عمر الأنصار لم يأتمروا بأمر رسول الله فلم يقتلوا عمر زين أصحاب بيعة الشجرة لم يأتمروا بأمر رسول الله فلم يقتلوا عمر من ائتمر بأمر رسول الله فقتل عمر المسلم المؤمن المتقي الورع الشجاع الجريء الباسل أبو إسلام المعروف بأبي لؤلؤ رضوان الله تعالى عليه هذا هو المسلم الذي ائتمر بأمر رسول الله فقتل عمر أما الصحابة فكفار أما الأنصار فكفار أما المهاجرون فكفار أما الذين كانوا أصحاب بيعة العقبة فكفار أبو إسلام المعروف بأبي لؤلؤ هو المسلم الذي ائتمر بأمر رسول الله فقتل عمر صلوات الله عليه ولعنة الله على عمر Thank you.
از باز با خمدی سمرم نگذاری از عشق علی بی سمرم نگذاری تا آه رو بزده من عمر می گویم این بوده؟ ایرانی ها رو عمر مسلمون کرده؟ ما حق نداریم به عمر توهین کنیم؟ یعنی این؟ نه من تا زندم میگم عمر حروم زاده بوده تا زندم میگم هر چی سنی حروم زادن عمر لعنت الله علیه این ابو بک لعنت الله علیه زنده مول خدا کسانی که از ها و مهاجر انصار دارم لعن میکنن و میگن مرتد شدن اینها زنده قرآن میگن ما نمیشه بگیم خدا نفهمی شیعه های ایران فهمیده میشه پس کسانی که بدانی کسانی که مهاد و انصار و فوش میدن یا لند میکنن یا برای منبران یا اینا مرتب شدن اینها تمام به قرآن بیابیدن چرا به قرآن خدا تدوین کرده به عشق را برای مهاجین و انصار و السابقون الاولون من المهاجرین و الانفار و الذین اتبعون و الذین اتبعون بیحسان رضی الله عنهم رضی الله عنهم و رضو عنه و اعد لهم جنات تجری تحت الانهار خالدین فیها ابدا ذالک الفوز العظیم Is there still anyone out there? who doubts that the raw fida are ma Jews. As for those people, who also celebrate Nauruz, like the Kurds, some Afghans and Tajiks, who are actually non raw fida Well, this is not a proof for the validity of this pagan holiday, for unlike in the raw fida sect, which approves Nauruz due to its Zoroastrian roots, in real Islam, this pagan holiday, along with every other pagan holiday, be it Arabian, Persian or Turkish, is strongly prohibited. That is why you see knowledgeable Iranian nations, like the Tajiks in Afghanistan, who continuously expose the pagan nature of Nauruz, even though they themselves are of Iranian origin. <coughs> As for the raw fida, then their case is now known, and some of them admit what we all already knew. Zardoshi amasi, hamay maori she zardoshi, hamay maori she zardoshi. I couldn't have said it better myself. These are the roots of the raw fida shia. Now when will you free yourself from nationalism, superstitions, polytheism and heresies in the name of following al al bayt and culture, and accept true Islam, the Islam of the Sunnah? Don't sell your intellect to the mafia, who hide under the cloak and turban, of the Prophet, peace be upon him, for they are the ma Jews, who seek to destroy Islam from within. From within, from within. Today I want to extend my very best wishes to all who are celebrating Nowruz around the world. Thank you. And Ed A. Shoma Mubarak.